Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. What is up, my dudes? We are back in the F-15 STOL MTD. That is the short takeoff and landing maneuver technology demonstrator. And today we're going to be taking on the Eurofighter. Uh, this time the F-15 actually has a gun pod. That was a recent update to the mod, which I will link in the video description below. Uh, the new version comes with a gun pod, so we can actually do some gunfighting with this thing and uh, see what it can do. So uh, we're going to take it up against the Eurofighter, which has been the one aircraft that, in my opinion, has been most challenging next to the F-22. And uh, we're going to have some fun with it. Uh, my predictions are that he will be better in the one circle. So into the merch here. We'll take him to the one circle to see if that's true, but I think I can outrate him. Uh, but we'll see. That was a head-on pass, so both of us didn't shoot there. Now, once again, we do both have Fox 2s, again, intended for bandits or targets that are extending away from you. And also, we're going to allow you to use them if you uh, just want to wrap up the fight. But in order to do that, you have to get gunshots on target first, and then you can just wrap it up with uh, a Fox 2. Some rounds there, lucky to go by, not too much of a threat. And I'm keeping them in the one circle roller here. Um, but again, the one circle, he should be better. He drops a flare to indicate head-on. I dropped my flares back there. You saw the double-pronged flare. Uh, that was the indicator that I'm respecting the head-on. I won't shoot him either, so he feels good. He feels safe, I guess. And so we see now I have transitioned this into a two-circle fight. And he's flying that thing kind of like a Mirage, which makes sense. It is, at the end of the day, technically a Delta Wing aircraft. Um, the F-15 has always, you know, been well known to be a good rate fighter. And may not be the best. The F-16 might be the best. But the F-15's up there. And we are currently out raiding this Eurofighter right now. I'm definitely coming around as expected you can hear the f-15 really like, look at this this is some serious winning cues here and there we go he's trying to tighten down that turn I'm gonna repo with a little bit of vertical just to make sure I stay back here aim for the low aspect shot behind him he will tighten down to try to increase the aspect but there we go Definitely hit him there at least three or four times. Okay, some good hits there. And looks like he's flying a little bit funky now. Uh, I think he's, uh, he's hurt for sure. Yeah, I mean, this thing is just flying all kinds of weird now. So, uh, I will use a Fox 2 on him, I think. I mean, technically he's extending away also, cause, but I think it's because he has no hydraulic power. So, we're just going to take him out with the Fox 2. Fox 2. And splash Eurofighter. Weird, because that was into the sun, but the missile still found him. So, very good. Splash one Eurofighter there.
The Eurofighter fight is definitely one of the more challenging fights I think you can take on. Um, especially if you have somebody who understands the difference between a one circle and two circle and uh, they can do their best to try to influence a one circle fight. I think that the Eurofighter can be very much a challenge, similar to the F-22. Again, uh, I do think that the F-22 has a slight edge, but the Eurofighter is also very, very good. Um, so into the merge here, we're going to come in about 320, maybe 330-ish, less than one mile here. Merge. Look at this thing. Pretty much similar one circle turns at the beginning there. Both avoiding the head on. I may have put a little bit too much rudder into that one. And now trying to roll over him, but I can already see that that little input of too much rudder is already becoming problematic. Uh, we both avoided the head-on shot there, but as he pulls that nose up, that Eurofighter is going to become a serious problem. Yeah, that's nose up. So, last round didn't play out the way I was intending. <laughs> I didn't think that, you know, uh, we were talking about how the Eurofighter is better in the one circle and uh, it proved it there in the one circle roller. He did out maneuver me. I overruddered and then he killed me. Um, I, he, when that nose started coming around, I knew it was going to be problematic, but I wasn't sure if he was going to get nose on there, let alone put a high explosive round in between my eyes. So that was nice. That's great. Okay. One circle merge here. A little bit of over G there. <laughs> and that thing has got nose on right there. A little bit late on his shot, but he definitely had nose on first. He beat me in that one circle. And you see this thing. Look at it. I'm trying to drag him into a vertical fight. Let's see how he does there. Technically, the vertical fight is also a rate fight. Um, so I should be a little bit better there, but we'll see how he likes it. Again, the vertical fight's difficult because it's a different kind of energy management. Um, you know, it's not just a straight raid fight. Um, and the F-15 is currently winning, maybe? I see winning cues. Actually, it's kind of neutral. It's somewhat neutral right now. And we're just going to keep... Keep it going. And winning cues. Neutral. Neutral. And winning cues. Winning cues. Very good winning cues. Now he's sweating. Locked. This is what I like to see. All right. Now he's gonna have to start getting creative here if he wants to turn the tables here. And as I now pull him into the HUD, he should tighten down. And he does, and then he should reverse, which he is doing. Good. A little bit more vertical he needs. Yeah, there he goes. He's pulling that vertical. Okay, I might have hit him there. I think I hit him. Yeah. He was just a little late using a bit of the vertical in the reversal. You know, you should have added a little bit more of a vertical component to it, but he just did a straight, you know, reversal on the deck. And because I used the vertical, it just... The geometry just didn't work out for him, and he ended up crossing the nose. So for some reason, these rounds keep missing. That's ah, fine. We'll just hit him with the Fox 2 here. Oops. Fox 2. 
That missile went into the sun. Fantastic. Here's another Fox 2. And Splash 1 Eurofighter. Alright, there we go. Just a little miscalculation in the turn reversal there. And uh, that's it. That's all it takes. And a big thank you to Cerberus for helping out with the video today and flying the Eurofighter. Wonderful, wonderful work. Thank you.